This is Witch Base News for Friday the 18th of August 2023 ...I'm Commander Burr. An Elite Dangerous News this week. There's a new guide with some valuable info on Scythe survival. The archive of Guardian site aerial recon photos is updated and some odd behaviour is witnessed from sentinel drones at the new Guardian sites. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. And if you'd like to help directly support our work you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything else are below. Just a quick note before we get cracking this week. The next episode of the FDev Elite Dangerous livestream series Frameshift Live Episode 33 was due to air on the 17th of August. That's yesterday as I speak these words. FDev announced on Monday they were rescheduling the livestream to the 31st of August putting it back by 2 weeks. This is almost certainly due to the weight of duties the community and dev team have on them at the moment. They're attending the Elite Community Meet in Wokingham in the UK this weekend and then they're off to the Gamescom convention in Germany next weekend. So the 31st of August sandwiches them nicely between all of that and our very own PitCon which they're attending on the 16th of September in Nottingham. Commander Mechan of the AXI has been busy of late updating their excellent guides to all things Thargoid. Of particular note to nearly all commanders is the latest addition to the Know Thy Enemy series which now covers the new Scythe Hunter class vessel that arrived in update 16. There's particularly useful information contained in there if you're being harassed by Scythes while attempting to run emergency evac missions around Thargoid controlled space. There are also some interesting and useful pieces around the most recent and quite significant changes to Thargoid interceptor behaviour patterns that the AXI have been observing since updates 15 and 16 and these are worth noting even if you're a more casual AX player. Overall Mechan's guides are quite excellent, very succinct, useful and precise. You'll find a link to the channel in the description below. Be sure to add it to your subs to catch any future updates from them. In case you didn't already know Commander Greybeard Seawolf maintains an incredibly useful archive of aerial reconnaissance photos and diagrams detailing Guardian structures and how to navigate and activate them. The archive was updated this week to reflect one of the new Guardian sites that were added in update 16 that we reported on earlier in the week. You'll find that video linked on screen now in case you missed it. The recon photos contain icon highlights and a key to show where the various pylons and destructible panels and pillars are as well as where you can expect Guardian Sentinel drones to deploy from. And one personal side note here if you've not visited the sites or have perhaps been intimidated by the volume of chaos that they could generate for a lowly SRV in the past then I'd highly recommend giving them a try now. If you pump all the energy into the shields and weapons then the tankier Scorpion SRV is largely completely unfazed by the drones and can easily dispatch them and a single point defence turret in a roof mounted utility slot of your nearby parked spaceship will more than adequately deal with any missiles that do survive the drones appearance. You'll find Greybeard's site linked below this video and you can also follow Greybeard Seawolf on whatever the hell we're calling Twitter these days. While we're talking Guardian sites we thought this next oddity was worth noting just in case anyone else in the community notices anything ...elite being what it is. Canon Research retweeted yesterday a video from Commander Clara Bloodwin showing three Guardian Sentinels at the newly discovered Rego site apparently passive and hovering close to the ground in a formation that is somewhat reminiscent of the Azimuth logo. There was some speculation that this could be a signal from the recently Guardian absorbed ghost of salvation trying to send a message. I have to say that our experiments today at two separate Guardian sites including one at Rego have not demonstrated any similar such behaviour with three Guardian drones at Rego continuing to fire at me whilst I type this very script on another screen in fact. But 
These things are always better with many eyes on them so we thought it best to let folks know just in case. As is always the case if you notice anything in game that other folks might not be aware of or it's likely a new discovery we'd recommend that just like Clara you tell everyone as soon as humanly possible. Have you found Commander Meccan's guides enlightening? Have you visited the new Guardian sites in the Rego system and are you attending the Elite Community Meet this weekend in the UK? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.